Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at the seasonal armor plus the ornamental armor. Finally reached 102 uh, yesterday and immediately started thinking about making this video because these are actually one of my favorite videos to do. Mostly because you guys get to see like my thoughts and concerns about the armor. It's like armor in this game really excites me. So that's probably why I get really excited about these videos. But before I get started with the video, so before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification, I would very much appreciate it. If you like my content, if you like just me in general, that would really help me out. So on with the video. So with that out of the way, let's look at the armors for the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. Uh, Hunter first. I think this is cool. I remember when we first saw this armor, I was like, That's, it's cool. I'm definitely happy that we have another hoodless cape. I think we need more of that. The fact that the fact that we haven't gotten a hood uh, toggle yet is kind of upsetting, but I love that we have this, this is great. Uh, for the people who want another one aside from the ornamental ones, I think this is great. And it shaders pretty decently in my opinion. So. Let's look at the helmet first real quick. The helmet is okay. I do, it does shader better than what I thought, honestly. But it just kind of looks boring in my opinion. Like, obviously it's supposed to look boring. The ornaments is what's, what has to look the best. I get that, but just looks basic in my opinion. The arms are pretty decent as well. They're, I definitely think the arms are probably the coolest part of this armor set just because of like the possibilities I'm thinking about with other armor sets, definitely. The chest piece is, I love the chest piece because of the bullets and the knife. I really do think that that's really cool as well. Uh, my only thing is the bottom here, this sometimes shaders really poorly, but right now it's looking really good. So maybe I just had a really bad shader that I put on it, either way. Uh, the boots is probably my favorite piece. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I'm not gonna lie. I love the I love the actual like shoes. They're fucking cool, and I think the armor looks cool as well. Uh, I do wish that it was a more a bit more symmetrical, but overall I do like it a lot. It's uh, really cool. It's pretty crazy because like I actually like all of the pieces. I have no negative things to say about all of it really, aside from like maybe here. It does look like it's not like it looks like it's ripped, but like also clipping at the same time. So I wish they could they could have done a better job there. But overall, I like this. So let's look at the ornaments real quick. And all of this without, is without shaders. This is how the ornaments look without the without any shader on or anything. And we'll look at that later. This is the ornament. And if you guys haven't noticed, this is actually fallen themed armor. Each class gets a themed armor set. This one is Fallen, which I actually think is cool. The helmet, in my opinion, is probably the weakest portion of the whole thing. Uh, unfortunate that doesn't change color, but it's such a small part that I probably wouldn't care all too much, maybe. I say that, but I probably would. But I wouldn't even wear this just because I don't like how it looks. Uh, I think they they dropped the ball on this one. They look, just look bad, in my opinion. Uh, <clears throat> The arms look really cool, like really, really fucking cool. The only unfortunate thing is this big hulking piece of metal here. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but at the same time, it's just a lot. Like, I don't know, I love it, but at the same time, it's like, that's a lot. And yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The chest piece, I think just got, got better in my opinion. This cool thing is cool in my opinion. Let's look at some shaders real quick. The only thing that kind of sucks is that the chest piece is actually a different color. So I'll show you guys once I like color everything, but the chest piece is actually a different color from all of the other armor sets, which is one thing that bugs me. And the legs is actually my favorite part aside from the cloak. I think the cloak is really good, but the legs would be a, a second place just because they look so fucking cool. Again, I would have liked it if it was more symmetrical, but at the end of the day, it does look really fucking cool. And it's really hard to say like which class gets the win for me just because they're all really good. 
but if I'm being honest and not like dick riding my hunters, it would probably say Warlock. So let's look at how it shaders real quick. Let's do let's do this one. I like this one. So that's a bad example because this is still the same, but I remember it being different colors. So yeah, see, uh, it's the same color as this right here for here. I don't know how I feel about that, mostly because it doesn't jive well with other shaders. Obviously with this one it did, but that's because every armor piece, every armor piece that has a color is that color for Dreaming Spectrum. But like if we go with Cryptic Insignia, which is the new raid, uh, the new raid shader, then you guys will see like, it's just, it, it's a weird, weird choice of color for that. Not bad, it's just, you gotta, you gotta shader around that, definitely. Like, this looks cool. This looks actually really cool. But, in other pieces, it just does not look good in my opinion. Like, this doesn't look good. Uh, same thing with this one, I don't, didn't like it at all either. It's just weird, but. Yeah, that's really it for the, for the hunter. I, like I said, I think the hunter is really cool. And, I wanna say it's my favorite, but unfortunately, the titans and the warlocks specifically the warlocks have so much better like if if the hunters ended up getting more like fallen pieces into their arsenal like maybe maybe some body parts from from the fallen on this or something of that sort because like let's be real like it's really hard to notice something that's fallen sometimes because this did not scream fallen to me this th this screamed uh hive for me the first time i saw it but then that's like that's the only thing i can really think of like this has to be fallen themed because if it's not then the titans got one unique one out of the hunters and the warlocks so let's look at the titans real quick so you guys will understand what i'm talking about so this is the titans these this is how they usually look this is the big bitch version of that armor set which I think looks really cool. I think the helmet is pretty cool. It's a lot cooler than the Titans or the Hunters hands down. I do like it a lot aside from like this metal part here, which makes no sense to me. Uh, I think the arms are cool as, cool as fuck too. Uh, I haven't seen it on males, but I do like it on females just because it makes them look smaller. Chest piece looks cool as well. I love the, like this right here, the, the rags. I think they're really cool. I think the boots are really cool, especially since they are symmetrical. That's one thing I like it when armor is symmetrical. And the mark is probably the weakest part of the whole set for me. But then if we check out the actual ornament, it actually changes because I think the ornament's actually the strongest piece because if you guys you guys can see, there's a lot of ornaments on that shit. There's a there's a cool crotch piece that I like a lot. Uh, I like it a lot personally. I love it. It's really cool. The shader is really well in my opinion as well. It, yeah, it shaders really well in my opinion. And then the boots get even way cooler. I don't even know how you could do that. They get this cool thing right here. They have like these like talon things. Let me see. These like fang things right there on the bottom. And don't get me wrong it's minimal it's so minimal what they actually change but i do like it the chest piece also changes a few things here and there as well you get the the hoses right here these hoses right here there's a bunch of stuff that does change but again this also in the back i think the thing in the back is probably the coolest portion that right there it looks so cool the arms is probably the thing that changes the most out of a lot you actually get a cabal mask which is really fucking cool which is another reason why I think each class got specific what enemy type armor. And I think they look really cool. And then the helmet is really cool as well. They get this little horn here. And again, don't get me wrong, like they don't change much. It's not that like crazy of a change, but it's enough for, for me to be like, that's cool. Like, as you guys can see, you get this jaw piece right here. You get the glowing here, you get the horn here. It's enough for me to be like, I can see me using this a lot in other shit. Oof, that looks cool. Let's see how it shaders actually. So, let's do Dreaming Spectrum. That looks fire, dog. That looks good. I like it a lot. Uh, let's look at this one. Oof, I like that. That looks good. That shaders really well as well. Thank God. Mm, it's okay. Let's look at this one. This is my favorite purple. 
Yeah, like like I said, I think the Titans have a really strong one. It's just it looks so fucking cool, dude. Uh, and this is what I mean about like the hunters should have gotten something more that is more fallen, because right here you get an actual mask of the the cabal. You get the blades that are attached to the beasts. I forget what they're called. It just it speaks more of like cabal because this right here is not in it's not even new to titans as we'll see right here i usually have these arms but i don't have them on me right now it's right here like it's not new it's really cool i want to use these arms specifically for a, a titan build but i've already used it last season so i can't use them again that's my rule um but yeah let me know titans what do you guys think i personally love it i haven't seen it on a male but on the females, it looks fucking cool. On the males, it's probably just gonna look a lot bulkier. So, let's go to the Warlocks. You'll see why I think the Warlocks are really gonna win this for me. So here, the Warlocks, personally, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of theirs, personally. Uh, at least this portion of it. It just looks weird and unfinished. This is like a prime example of Bungie basically making the cool armor first and then just stripping it down because it just looks like it's stripped down. Which, uh, take it how you will, I personally think uh, they should make the basic bitch armor look cool and then just build upon that even more, but whatever. I like the helmet, the helmet's really cool, especially since it's glowing and I love glowing parts in armor, so I'm gonna love this helmet regardless. The arms are, the arms, they're usually whatever's honestly. The chest piece is bad, I think the chest piece is really, really bad. The legs are okay. Honestly, like the basic bitch version of it is just whatever's. Let's look at the like the actual version of it. So here is the Warlock's version of it. They have an exploding thrall or a thrall. I don't remember which one that one is specifically, but I'm pretty sure it's a, an exploding thrall. They have the head of one right there. So immediately you're like, oh shit, a lot of bone, a fucking hive head. Okay, this is definitely hive inspired armor. And it looks fucking cool. It looks so cool, man. It really does. Let's let's just jump to shaders real quick. Oof. Does the does the does that change color? I don't know if it does. I know the hive one doesn't. The hive head doesn't change color. Um, let's do this one. Does not look like it changes color. Looks like it's just one color. That is unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I was hope. See, that's different. All right, let's let's go to the helmet. All right, so see that looks super fuck. That looks super cool. What the fuck? I think it does change color, but like here it's still red. It's really weird. What the fuck? It might change color. Yeah. I still think it looks good. I still think it looks fire as fuck, no pun intended, but it's just, if it doesn't change color, it's unfortunate, but I think it does change color. The hive, the hive helmet or the hive head does not change color, but does that bother me enough? I don't know, actually. Yeah, because the bone doesn't even change color, so that's actually like unfortunate as well. Wait a minute. Dude, it looks like it changes color. But it doesn't. It's weird. Unfortunate that the bone does not change color. So there is an argument to be said that the bone doesn't change color. Um, I don't know if that's really important for you or not. Me personally, I probably would get bothered by it. But it looks so cool that I probably wouldn't care. It's just... It wouldn't bother me so much if we had other armor that had bone in it. Like, that's the thing. It's like, for me personally, I... If I could combine this with other armor sets that had bone or some shit like that, that wouldn't really bug me. Like, I, I think it's unfortunate, definitely, because if you're not wearing the whole armor set, you're gonna look kind of weird. Dude, they have fucking jaw bones right there. Like, bro, this speaks fallen to or uh, hive to me. It's the fact that the hunters does not speak fallen. It just, it just looks cool. But it's not fallen themed if, if, if i'm trying like i i hope i make sense like not saying the hunters is bad far from it i think it's really fucking cool it's just that i would have preferred if we had some sort of 
fallen themed piece that is like literally like oh shit that's fallen like that's that's fallen you know uh unless i just don't know fallen theme but it just does not look fallen to me so that's pretty much it let me know who, who you guys thought or who do you guys think won i personally think the titans and the warlocks are like evened like they they both have cool fucking armor and the hunters is like I, the, the the not the worst let's not say the worst it's really good it just does not do a good job at invoking fallen themed armor because it has to be falling like what else can it be like honestly let's go back to the hunter like honestly like what what else can it be we have or we have a oh imagine taken that would have been crazy but we have cabal for the titans which completely makes sense the uh, the hive for warlock which again makes completely sense or complete sense and then we have this and i'm just like <clears throat> i'm not saying that it doesn't look like fallen because it does but it wasn't the first thing i thought of when i first saw it like when i think of when i think of fallen i think of this armor set right here let's go where is it this armor set the tangled web armor like this is this makes me think like hive for sure because it is this is from house of wolves back in destiny one which was a a fallen themed armor or a fallen themed dlc so for me this speaks this speaks fucking uh whatchamacallit fallen like i definitely would love to scoop this helmet up just for this because i feel like this helmet does a better job than the helmet that they ha they gave us there uh i because i think the helmet's the worst part of it if i'm being completely honest and yeah like this looks like fallen to me this does not look like fallen to me like it just it looks different and different's not bad it's just again you know what it might be it might be fucking uh spiders falling because if it's that then it's like oh yeah, yeah i can see that the spikes and shit don't get me wrong the the other armor set had spikes too but it was like not like this because for me when i first saw this i thought immediate oh this is hive this has to be hive like hive 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 right like look at that that's hive and i was like okay yeah hive this is cool but then i saw the warlocks so i'm like oh okay they have hive and titans have okay so hunters have have uh fallen then so that's the only thing that i just kind of wish they they gave us more like fallen themed armor that's like speaks fallen i don't know i'm making a big deal out of this yes i am it's just that's just how i feel um definitely not saying the armor is garbage by any means again like i've said this five million times i think the armor looks fucking cool uh i think his shader's okay the only unfortunate thing is the armor here does not change color the trim and the bones themselves don't change color other than that is really it the chest beat the chest piece being like a different color from the, all the other armor sets is a big thing that bugs me too but it's something i can work around it's something that's not that crazy to begin with so honestly this seasonal armor is probably the the armor that i kind of like the most aside from season of dawn i think season of dawn just hit the park with pretty much all of them aside from the little nitpicks that i had about like the colors not being able to be changeable but this this has that as well but not to that extent but yeah let me know you guys thoughts in the comments below like dude i even have fallen a fallen themed uh, sh uh ghost a fallen themed fucking sparrow and <laughs> i even have a fucking uh a ship that's fallen so it's like for me i was like man like i was really hoping it could really do something like this attach itself to some of these like curves and angle i don't know man uh let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media alex links are in the description below i have a lot more content coming i have a fuck ton if you guys can see i got a bunch of exotics from just doing stuff i have so many fucking videos coming out so stay tuned we're gonna talk about armor sets we're gonna talk about weapons specifically the raid weapons because i think the raid weapons are really fucking good especially this one this is not a god roll but i like this one a lot definitely going to be trying to farm a lot more of these so stay tuned i will see you guys later